Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video is a very different video as we've got an unboxing of something. What could it be? Who knows? About a month ago, I was in talks with a horror game developer and he reached out to little old me and asked if I wanted a PR package for his game. And I've got it right here. I have no idea what is going to be in it. So uh, we're going to be unboxing it here live on stream, not on stream, on recording. Ah. Now this has been sat underneath my desk for quite some time now, until today, where I was finally able to uh, open it. I've been given the, the go-ahead. Let's have a look at what's inside. Let's put these away before I cut off my fingers. Whoa! Okay. So, this is what it, this is what it looks like as you open it. Eh. Stuff in it. Let's throw that out. Yo! Yo, this is pretty cool! What's this? Packed with care. This is cool. Let me show you guys. Now, I've never been sent anything like this. So I'm, uh, excuse me being so excited about this, but this is pretty cool. Take a look at this. Right? This is so cool. So the game is called Saturnalia, and uh, this is the PR package. This is pretty damn cool. Yeah, that's it. That's all that's in the box and a couple of these things. Now let's take a look at one on the back, what it says here. The game. Saturnalia is a third-person, multi-character, roguelike horror adventure. Ooh, very nice. I'll show you guys the trailer. Welcome to Saturnalia. A horror adventure game with elements of investigation, puzzle solving, exploration, and rogue light progression. You'll play as a cast of characters, some available from the start, and some to be unlocked during your adventure. They all have their own personal motives and storylines, but they share a common goal, escaping the village of Gravois and the rituals of the winter solstice. Each character has unique tools and abilities to help you explore hidden areas and survive. There are no markers or virtual compasses in Saturnalia. As you learn your way around the village of Gravois, you'll orient yourself with signs and local landmarks. Change your character or team up for more flexibility. Even ask your companion to guide you somewhere with the in-game maps. Use phone booths to continue on from a different location or ask a teammate to meet up. As you explore, you will discover shortcuts and secret passages, connecting the various parts of the village and its surroundings in a complex three-dimensional maze. Keep track of your many discoveries in your mind map, grouping crucial clues and tracking your objectives. Often, tools will be required to create new routes solve puzzles, or uncover useful resources. Such resources are scarce and must be managed wisely and have less obvious uses for you to discover. Use matches to light your way, mark where you have been, and find hidden objects. as you explore the winding alleyways of Gravois. Be careful, you are not alone roaming these streets after curfew. Some will help you, some will try to stop you, and something is hunting you. If you are captured, all is not lost. Switch to another survivor to find your companions and free them. But beware, once you lose all your characters, the village will be generated anew, with new roads and connections to discover. You won't lose your progress in the story or the puzzles, but you will have to relearn again your way around the strange village of Gravoy. Now this is cool. I mean, straight off the bat, look at this mask. That is so cool. I don't want to open it. I I guess we should open it, but I don't want to. Let's let's un let's unlock it. Let's uh, let's see what it's all about. 
Damn. This is the first time I've done anything like an unboxing, by the way. So sorry if this is a bit scuffed. But then let's open this. Oh! Careful! Nice! Some kind of satanic mask. I like it. No way. It's wearable. I can wear it. <laughs> this is cool. I'm a demon. Yeah, this is like, uh, this is proper. Like, this is proper material. Like, mask material. It feels nice. It looks so cool. So then we got a nice little uh, picture of the mask. Very nice. And now right here. Wow. Okay, this is, this is like a, this is a vinyl. Whoa, that's cool. I haven't seen one of these. I don't even own one of these. Or one of those vinyl things. That's cool. I'm guessing this is the soundtrack. Yeah, it's the soundtrack. It's got all the uh, all the soundtracks on the back there. Very nice. Very nice. And then, ooh, a beautiful, beautiful art book. Let's take a look inside. Now, the one thing that did interest me about this game was the art style. It's, it's a game kind of art style that I've never seen before. So just take a look at some of these pictures here. Like, the art is beautiful like beautifully drawn um wow it's got all the designs of like how they made the mask and stuff that's so cool awesome what else we got here and of course we've got the game beautiful beautiful game awesome and i've got the code here so i can uh, so, so i can download the game amazing thank you so much satanadia the developers and everything thank you so much for sending me this this is so cool and i've got a little certificate to say that only 250 pieces were ever made so there's only 250 of these ever and i've got one and i believe i've got number 226 very nice once again thank you so much to tj uh, for sending me this this is so cool yeah we're gonna go and jump into the game and show you what's up all right welcome to saturnalia warning this game contains disturbing images and scenes of implied violence they are reference to self-harm abuse racism and homophobia wow game uh game has it all way Hey? Who's talking to me? All right, accessibility options. Losing all characters makes the village reshuffle. Tools and consumables are lost. Roads are changed. Ah, oh, so it's a procedural generated kind of game. I like that. All progress, shortcuts, and key items carry over. Nice. This is intended ways to play the game. Okay, cool. So what we got? We got standard. Adventure. Even after losing all characters, the village does not reshuffle, making it easier to learn its shape. The creature is less... Wait, what? The creature is less aggressive to allow for slower exploration. Detective. No mission prompts, no mission list. Okay, well, we don't want to do that, do we? Permadeath. Wow, you've got a lot of options here. Italian Extreme. A hardcore experience. No mission list, no interactive maps, and permadeath. Good luck. Wow. That is, uh, that's insane. Custom. All right, so I think we're just going to go with the standard how the game, uh, you know, wants the game to play, you know? Let's see. The story, all names, characters, and incidents portrayed in this production are fictional. All right? So keep that in mind. Sardinia, 1989. Oh, I've been there. I've actually been to Sardinia. It's in Italy. It's a very nice place. Whoa. What am I looking at? Okay. I don't know what's going on. Is this a cutscene? I climb out the walls. Oh. Whoa, what was that about? A few hours before, for the last year, geologist Antina Gininini has been renting a room in the village of Gravia, a mining settlement she's been evaluating for a prospective internal buyer. Okay. Unexpectedly, she soon fell for Daminio, a married man who works at the local church. Cheeky! After a turbulent affair, Anita became pregnant with Damino's Damino who's baby about four months ago. Following a routine ultrasound in a nearby city, Anita returns to the village to pack her belongings and inform a relative Domino's. Her work now complete, Anita has no intention of sticking around in Gravio to give birth. Wow, she just got 
pumped and then dumped. Move mouse to look around. Wow, what is this? Look at this. This is cool. Why is there an exclamation mark above my head? Space to talk or skip dialogue, okay? Dominoes. Will this change his mind? A boy. He'll be so happy when I tell him. Oh, hey, we're having a boy! He told me he'll meet me after mass. All right, let's see if he's going to be there. Drive along for Christmas. Can't believe I'm leaving tomorrow. Doesn't feel it's been a year. Whoa, okay. Meet Domino at church for mass. Okay. Wow, see, look at this. It's like a stop motion game. I've never seen anything like this. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. All right. Let's explore the village. I'm kind of curious to see what this whole festival thing is about. Am I? What festival thing? Was there a festival going on? I want to get involved. All right, let's explore the village. See what's up. No one in the town. Where is everyone? Everyone's at the festival. Getting a litty like a city. I don't think they remove these until after the procession. Okay. Oh, of course. Yeah, they're in mass. They're at church. Have to find another way around. All right. We've got to find another way around. What's this? Garbage bin. Kids drop firecrackers inside as a noisy prank. Why would they do that? All right. We need to go to the church. So I'm guessing it's this way. That's the elementary school where the kids are. Oh, oh people, people, people. I saw a guy over here. There he is. Hey, come back. Hey, wait. I bet they're going to church. All right, we've got to go too. How rude. I wonder what the rush is. Yeah, that guy was running. Or well, we can run. Oh, he closed the door on my face. Need to pick up items. All right. I can't open it. Go to the villa and start packing. People here are so strict. No late lay entry, apparently. I should head to the villa before it gets dark. It's the one nearby with a nice view of the church from below. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, this is cool. So, look. I think the villa is that way. Look, you can like... If you get lost in this uh, maze of a, of a village, you can hold your space bar and point. And she points. I like that. She memorized it because I, I looked at the map. All right, so let's see. From here. Yeah, she's pointing this way. Let's go. We're going to go to the villa. Here it is. Wow, we got a beautiful villa. Here we are, the villa. All right, what do I have to do? Guys, I'm home. Hello. Where's everyone? At the festival, aren't they? Without me. Home sweet home. It counts as home after years. A year, right? Oh, we got some firecrackers. Nice. We could put them in the old garbage, like the kids do. What's this? Polycart film. A film cartridge for Paul's instant camera. Who's Paul? God knows I've spent enough time in this hole up here. Start packing. All right, let's start packing. Wow, well, that was a very good uh, song. Now it's night time. I have a feeling things are about to get spooky. Okay, I got the Or Surrey data, but where's the mine structure map? That's a good point. Where is it? Maybe Paul did it? Find Anita's map in Paul's room. All right, is Paul my brother or something? That's Agno. Who's in here? It's Paul's room, but no Paul. Where'd you go, Rumi? Oh, this is a Rumi. Oh, so look, I took your map to explore the mine while the others are busy with the festival. Sorry, Paul. Wow, Paul, why would you do that? So he's taken that. What's he left behind then? God, Paul went to the mines. I better find him before he hurts himself. Damn, Paul. Find Paul in the mines. Eleanor and Telklik. 
photographed in 1929. Wow, look at them. They look happy, don't they? Okay, so you can get, like, clues and everything to help you with the missions, which is pretty cool. What's in here? Bagno. Oh, is that, does that mean toilet in uh, in French? Okay, so this will help us. This lighter will help us, hopefully. Anything in here? What's this? Wait, someone's sleeping there! Paul's buddy Sergio is napping? I could put on a fire at least, so Sergio doesn't get too cold. Oh, wow. Well, aren't I nice? What's this? More, more lighters. All right, Sergio, buddy. Keep an eye on Sergio. Oh, aren't I nice? There we go. We'll light a fire for him. He can keep nice and uh, nice and cool. I mean, I mean, hot. All right, let's go and find Paul. Oh, my God. God, it's dark. Okay. Let's go and find Paul. In the mines. So... Where are the mines then? Oh, mined entrance. Here. I memorized the way to the entrance to the mines. Let's go. Oh, maybe I can light the fire. Ooh, why did that door shut? It must be at mass. Everyone's still at mass. It's a very long mass, isn't it? What's this? Match box. Purchase a box containing a few matches. All right. I think the entrance to the mine is that way. All right. Oh, there's another fire there. I feel like if I just light all these fires up, make my way in nice, easier, you know? I think it's that way. What's this? Telephone? Is that one of the telephonies? Whoa, okay. Someone was definitely in there. They're definitely not a mass, are they? Why is this blinking? What does it mean? What does it mean if it's blinking? These short circuits are due to ongoing electric works under the castle. Eh? Aha! Here we are. The entrance to the mines. Wait, who's this? Hello? Paul! Just get the shit out of me! Anita, hey. Check this out. I barely got a photo before it disappeared. What? Hey, what is that? The creature? A creature emerging from the well about, about, above the mines. Uh, uh, what? Okay. What do you think it is? Is it a person? I don't think it's uh, normal. It was grotesque. I don't think it's part of the whole festival thing. Look, Paul, I've had a long day. Just give me back my map, please. Oh, right. Uh, I probably dropped it somewhere near the notice board. Why would you drop it, Paul? All right. Let's let's uh, let's go and find it. Notice board. Where, where Whereabouts is the notice board? Oh, I see. The mind map and compass. All right. Got it. Very nice. The bells. The mass is over. Dominoes must be waiting for me at the church. All right. See you later, Paul. Please promise me you won't go inside. It's too dangerous. Right. Yeah. So shall we go home then? Actually, I need to do something first. See you at the villa? All right. As Anita, press spacebar while standing to remember the route to a visited location. All right. I need to go back to the church, please. In the church that way. Okay. Let's go. Where is this fog coming? From the lake, maybe? Wow, there is a fog coming. It's a bit spooky. Uh, where's the church? This way? Ah, yeah, yeah, I think it's this way. Okay, here's the church, here's the church. Here we are, the church. Right, let's enter. Domino's better be here. The bells. Somebody is in the tower. Domino and I would meet there. Um, the tower, right? Yo, why did they just change camera? Okay. So I'm guessing I'm going to head upwards. What's this? Ex voto board. Catholic confirmations. Maybe. Oh, what's this? What's this? A coin token. Currency for the vending machine. Okay, very nice. What's this? Oh, I lit up the first row of candles. Okay. 
I'm supposed to use it on the vending machine, but why not? Light some candles for the old, uh, for the old dead. Can I go this way? Domino? Hello? Are you there? Um... Oh! Wait, what? Hey, I see it! What the hell is that? Hide! Oh, it's coming! No! Ah! Oh my... Hello? Can I help you? What? Saturnalia! Nice! So then what happens? Oh god. I get sent back to the villa? Or back to pool? Wait, and then I play as Paul. <gasps> Was that Anita? That sounded fucking terrible. Oh, that is cool. A few hours before. Interesting. I'm going to leave it there for today, guys. Um, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you slap a like on it. If you want to see me play more of this game, then do let me know in the comments below. This game is very interesting. I'm very uh, looking forward to carrying on playing it. Thanks so much, and I will see you in another video.